So what I need to do is just add maybe four feet or something to this. Yeah, four feet. So I've got all kinds of scrap metal around, so I'm just gonna use a couple of my favorite tools, grinder. Every farmer needs a grinder. If you're working with metal ever, you need a grinder. Such a great tool. And a reciprocating saw. It's not the best thing for cutting metal, but it works. And uh, you know, if I was cutting a lot of metal, I just borrow my neighbor's, uh, whatever you call it. It's like a table saw for cutting metal. So this is what I'm gonna use for now. To cut this piece, put it in here with a tech screw, and then it's good to go. The, uh, my uh, handle on the roll-up sides is down on that end, which is what I want because that's the end that we're down on all the time. So we roll up the greenhouses from down there. Tech screw, magnetic tip, love it. So that's my, now I've got my roll up part. So now I need to disconnect the wiggle wire down here. I've deflated the side poly here because we've got a pipe coming. There's a little pipe that bridges the top piece to this piece, so I've just disconnected it here to deflate this for now. And then, so this is still inflated, and that's where most of our insulation is gonna be anyways. So now I'm going to take off my wiggle wire to the channel lock down there, and I'll take the sides, some of the sides off here, and then I'll attach my steel to it, and I'll show you how that is done. Okay, so now I've got this plastic underneath where this, this piece of metal is, my roll-up side. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got these little pieces of plastic clamps. I'm gonna put them over this plastic, put the plastic over, put it underneath to hold it in place. And that's essentially it. And then from there, we'll be able to roll it up. So this is what I've got. These are just but you could basically use like even irrigation supplies for this, just tubing. And I've cut them into two inch pieces and then slit them down the middle. And so this will wrap over my steel and then I'll put a self topping screw in there and I'll do that every three feet or a meter. And uh, that's it and that's my roll up side. That's the low tech do it yourself way to do it. This is what I had before. It's just rope with two loops on the end. And screw it in with a self tapping screw. And then that is what is going to, the lever is going to go into that when I roll this up. Go. Now I need to just undo this. What's happening here is I'm just having to move the plastic around because this was overlapping this one. So now I just need to switch them around. So it'll just make the plastic go a little bit weird for a second. And this will go back over there. So I'm just gonna continue on my channel lock, putting it back in here. Huh, 
There we go. So the handles for these are just simple welds, just a piece of rebar and some uh, quarter inch steel. Just got my buddy to weld them for me. Put a little piece of steel that will fit inside of this one. self tapping screw, done. I'm gonna keep working a bit, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about finishing the other side until tomorrow. It's starting to cool down. Anyways, talk to you later. Oh,